refugee takeover now, where armed activists in Burns who are occupying the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge clashed with environmentalists today. A shouting match erupted during the group's daily press update. Our Jennifer Dowling was there. She joins us live tonight from Burns to tell us a little bit more about what happened. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Cor. Yeah, when the protesters showed up to protest the occupiers, they weren't very happy about that. They also told us today during that press conference that the man who was arrested yesterday will be missed. The threat to America about, right it's, now is it's these armed rights. people up it's here with pointed rifles. Rights. At the refuge, a conversation about conservation turned into a shouting match with a bullhorn. Occupiers yelling at counter protesters from the Center for Biological Diversity. I'm not scared of them. I'm here to tell them to go home. They feel the occupation puts animals and Native American sacred sites at risk. I'm concerned that. This Bundy militia uh, and a much larger group of people, including congressmen like uh, Greg Walden and Rob Bishop from Utah, are trying to take away the public's land, turn it over to loggers, miners, developers that then are going to trash it. These are not mine. Also today, Lavoie Finicum brought out a basket of cameras occupiers took down off power poles yesterday. Belong to the FBI. I gave them a, a clear invitation to move them down before we took them. He dismissed the notion they might belong to a local electric co-op. I extend the FBI an invitation to come and meet me here Monday morning at the press conference. Pick them up, good condition. Let's just do not do the dance again. Also today, Finnicum talked about the arrest of protester Kenneth Mendenbach at Safeway for unlawful use of a U.S. Fish and Wildlife vehicle, shown in these pictures. Sometimes we make dumb choices, don't we? You saying Kenneth's choices were dumb? He has been such a great support to us. We've needed him. He has been a backbone to us. To take a truck and drive it in that is not registered and licensed yet to Harney County, which we hope soon will be, would could have been a better choice. But believe me, Ken has been such a support to us. I really appreciate him. We're going to really miss him. We met Kenneth the day after the refuge was overtaken. Oh, my God. Um, hot spot, the electricity. I don't know how for how long, but we'll see. The owner of Chainsaw Creations had set up his bed in the volunteer quarters, explaining why he felt the government hadn't shut off the electricity. In order to cut it off, they got to cut off all the power to all these other places too. He, he also explained why he traveled 150 miles to join the takeover. I mean, what an exciting time in life! I mean, this is history-making stuff. Uh, I. Can't, I mean, I've done a lot of research in history, and nothing ever like this has ever happened. Nothing's ever happened since, like, Bundy Ranch, Sugar Pine Mine. Hey, hey I'm John. How are you? Hey, John. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. How are you? Also new, a small fraction of the group walked down to FBI headquarters to confront them, the spokespeople keeping their cool. We like to say, I respect your position. And we also spoke about the uh, community meeting that they were trying to hold, and Lavoie Finica says they still want to hold that with the community on Monday, although they still haven't secured a location for that. Cora, back to you. Jennifer Dowling reporting tonight from Burns, where the protesters are getting protested themselves. Jennifer, thanks very much for that.